I just feel myself, it'll be fine. Hello, apartment therapy. Welcome to my home. I'm sure as we walk through this apartment, you're gonna be like, ah, that's pretty eclectic. It's a little grandma. It's a lot grandpa. I love old things. There is some like crate and barrel. Oh my gosh, if you want a coffee table, this coffee table's in every movie. It's a crate and barrel. Crate and barrel, pay me. They also have side tables. Okay, honestly, I want my living room to look like the Museum of Natural History. My best lesbian, who she's totally fine with me calling her that. She calls me her best gay. She's admitted to me, because she has keys to the apartment, that she's like, she likes to come over and just like walk around the apartment and look in every one of my curiosity cabinets. And I really want people when they come over here to not just see like a giant chandelier. I want them to like go in like deeper, like there's levels. If you send me a Christmas card, I'm going to shove it in an old antique book and I promise you in 20 years, I'm gonna be cleaning out that book and that Christmas card's gonna come out and it'll probably bring a tear to my eye. The second I walked into this apartment, I was in love. There's nine windows and I'm on a corner and I love hearing the bars and like people having fun at night. But I will say, the second I walked into the kitchen, this kitchen was a mess, but I did gut the kitchen myself and even removed the plaster. I put in a washer and dryer too, thank you. Is it hard to install a washer and dryer? Legally, you should read your lease. <laughs> My landlord's never gonna see this. <laughs> he won't, it's fine, I'll talk about it. It really isn't that hard. You could easily go to a Home Depot and spend $30 worth of parts and you could hook it into your water under your sink and then I actually drain it back into the sink. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> you don't want me to say that. All right, apartment therapy, welcome to my bedroom. I actually did my very best to try to make this room as minimal as possible. Oh, I'll give you hard advice. I've given this advice to so many people. Not everyone listens, because they're like, come help me decorate. And I'm like, oh, have you made a Pinterest board? I'm not even coming over until you do it. Okay, let's start a Pinterest board. My New York apartment, break it up by like bedroom, living room, studio, however much room you have and then literally go mad. Pick out lamps, pick out rugs, pick out couches, everything you love, and then go through it again and like start eliminating the stuff that you don't like that much. I promise you, you can whittle it down to enough pieces where you can see at least a vision of what you want. And the next biggest thing is measuring every piece of furniture and taping it on the floor before you buy the couch, before you buy the coffee table, and like walk around it a couple days. You can always change a paint color. Those really big pieces, really think about them and make sure they fit your space. I'm really good friends with the boys across the hall and they've started using my washer and dryer. And now I actually get excited either Wednesday or Thursday when they stop by and I get to talk to them. And it gives me a sense of community. To be honest, I fully miss that this year. I know we're gonna get it back, but those little glimpses of having family, friends, and community is really home to me. Throw pillows will come and go, but the people around you are what matter. That's home.